Ahead of Thursday's first presidential debate in Georgia, former President Donald Trump spoke at a panel at a black barbershop in Atlanta on Wednesday, earlier today, explaining why the black community is supporting him. And it's the same reason a Biden-Harris spokesperson said communities of color are not supporting him. On Wednesday, Trump called into the Black American Business Leader Barbershop Roundtable, which took place at Rocky's Barbershop in Atlanta, and it streamed on the Right Side Broadcasting Network, also known as RSBN, to discuss various issues amid the 2024 campaign. Now, Republican Representative Byron Donalds of Florida, a Trump ally, headed the roundtable talk as he spoke to the former president. Trump discussed the support that he's receiving from the black community, and he attributed it to his mugshot. Donald Trump said that he has received more support from black and Hispanic voters since his infamous mugshot was taken last summer. Trump's comments came during a barbershop roundtable voter event on Wednesday, hosted by former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson and GOP Representative Byron Donalds. Now, Trump, who joined the event via a call, is also preparing for the very first presidential debate of the year on Thursday evening. Quote, since the mugshot happened, the support among the black community and the Hispanic community has skyrocketed. He went on to say, it has been amazing, really been amazing. And an embarrassing interview on CNN may have just proven President Donald Trump to be right about the entire news network. Now, a lot of critics are saying that CNN has been one of the mouthpieces for the Biden administration. And with them handling this debate between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump, it's pretty clear that there's something wrong going on here. Now, Trump on his end has not backed down fr from, you know, with any challenges made to him by President Joe Biden, even if it means that their debate will be moderated by a news outlet that's obviously biased against him. Now, the idea that some suggest is is that Trump, he's just ready for all the punches, even if it's an unfair fight. Now, this was proven when CNN chose to cut an interview short when the former president's spokesperson was invited for an interview. Now, you got to think, guys, why would they interview someone and then just, I don't know, suddenly just cut the mic on that person. Well, that part is still unclear, although supporters of the former president, they're saying that CNN is just afraid of the facts that might come out. There are those who say that they're liars and that they thrive off of Americans who are ignorant, those who believe anything that's told to them. And if the truth is ever revealed, then, well, these same people would revolt against CNN. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, I just want to thank you all so much for always hitting the like button for the videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel channel and I really do appreciate you guys sharing these videos. All of that just helps out a ton. I really do appreciate you guys. But check out what happened as Trump campaign national press secretary Carolyn Levitt was speaking her mind on national television. And that's why President Trump is knowingly going into a hostile environment on this very network on CNN with debate moderators who have made their opinions about him very well known over the past eight years and their biased coverage of him. I'll also say that if you talk to analysts of debates uh, previous that if you're attacking the moderators, you're usually losing. It would take someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump to see that Jake Tapper has consistently we're going to stop this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Adolf Hilter. Uh, Ma'am, I'm going to stop uh, no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here we, to speak on his behalf, and I, I am willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys, debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. So uh, was she attacking the colleague or stating facts? Here's just one of many times Jake Tapper's gone after President Trump. The dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler is once again alive and well on a national political stage, this time given life by former president and current Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump. You know, Harris, we don't know what Jake Tapper is going to do when he asks those questions. Uh, you can go online now and you see two minute long montages of him attacking the former president. But I think the American people deserve honest, forthright, substantive questions to both candidates that are difficult for both to ask. To Look, answer, I, I went to um, Casey Hunt's Twitter page not too long ago, and she said this morning, you come on my show, you respect my colleagues, period. I don't care what side of the aisle you stand on, as my track record clearly shows. Um, that moment was awkward. And what we'll remember about that moment was that it turned into being messy rather than a good conversation with someone who was close to a former president and could be the next president. 
And that's unfortunate. Now, what do you guys think? Was she just stating facts? And was CNN just allergic to hearing the truth? Because we know that these mainstream media news outlets, they've lied to us before. And it's not rare to be lied to by these people. I mean, in fact, it's more of the norm when it comes to the news that most of us hear on, on legacy media. It's as if CNN is like taking notes from District Attorney Alvin Bragg because he just wants Donald Trump to shut his mouth about his conviction. He can't talk about how the judge in this hush money trial has a daughter making millions of dollars off of top Democrats. Just the fact alone, that one fact alone has a lot of people questioning if Donald Trump ever had a fair trial in New York. And, you know, it's kind of why, you know, his supporters and even those who speak to the former president, they're asking if anything else will be will be fair until we get to November. Now, do any of you guys think that this is unfair for Trump? I mean, serious question. Or are these news outlets doing the right thing? Now, speaking of, kind of looks like we've actually got more bad news for President Biden. Do you guys remember President Joe Biden's plan to forgive student loans? So he kept pushing the issue, even though he knew that he had no authority to do something at this scale, right? Well, he kind of announced it multiple times before a crucial election in hopes, in hopes of getting more votes. But that tactic won't work this time around as a pair of federal judges just halted key parts of his new student loan repayment program. Now, this means that millions upon millions of Americans will be affected by this, and it takes down part of President Joe Biden's plan to supposedly buy votes by forgiving student loans. Although the SAVE program has already gotten loan forgiveness provisions, which allowed the Education Department to cancel $5.5 billion of debt, for more than 400,000 students. The question on everyone's mind right now though is how will this, this money actually be repaid? Like will taxpayers have to bear the responsibility of this debt that others took on? Because this is what many experts are saying, which now brings me to something that's unexpected. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC jumping up and down on a stage while an expletive song blasts in the crowd. Now the song was Cardi B's Enough and you know, it seems as if AOC should have taken notes with that title, right? Because many analysts found her antics to just be way over the top and somehow insulting to the intelligence of the American people. I mean, there are those who say that antics like these, they're effective for third world nations with the argument that loud music and dancing can lead to votes. Now, what makes this scenario even worse is that the lyrics of the song that, that was chosen for her, they were not appropriate, not for a diverse crowd, not for kids to be in the crowd. Now, you know, I'm not really sure if like, how many kids that there were in this rally, but I know that there were kids. But just to kind of give you an idea, the song contains words that would probably get this video removed from YouTube or at least demonetized. And ultimately, AOC decided that it was perfect to use it in her rally to rally her supporters. So I don't know, guys, go figure. And since we're on the topic of supporters, President Joe Biden, he just lost one. Allison Hunt, a former fundraiser for Barack Obama, has said that she's now voting for Donald Trump for the first First time and is divorcing the Democratic Party. That's right. She's standing up and turning her back to the Democratic Party, guys. In fact, it's very clear that this is now the new norm with these in, in the left as more and more are actually leaning toward Donald Trump. I mean, the, the, the number of people leaving the left is just astounding. Allison on her end says that she's pretty happy with how knowledgeable Trump is about, you know, what's going on with the country and with the economy. Something that many cannot say about President Biden. Now, Democrats, they're clinging on to support wherever they can get it. I mean, unfortunately, we're seeing multiple revelations this year about how corrupt some of them are. I covered this in a previous video with you guys that you definitely need to check out right after this one. Uh, basically, let me just give you a quick heads up. The rabbit hole keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Definitely check that video out right after this one. I'll leave a link for it either here or here, somewhere around here. Definitely click check, check that video out right after this one. But as always, I really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. Thank you so much for sharing these videos and subscribing to the channel. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.